doing it up real slow. It's really, really slow. I struck. Off he went. Hi, 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 hi! Yowza! Here we go, here we go! I felt the incredible oh, power of a really big tie on its first run, which I felt helpless to control. The looper roll comes through again! Yowza! I hope we got some time to spend here. The fish continued to take line with a strength that left me unable to do anything except just let him run. Guys on the water, so they... That must he must be at about 100 yards at this first run here. Yeah, well, Woo! I tell you what, if you don't get closer to him, I'm gonna run out of street. <laughs> Listen to that, eh? Yeah, he's still very deep, too. He's gone down. What kind of crawl did you just say that was? Call Hinkus. Here he comes, he's coming up, I think. Yeah, he's coming up now, I think. We're not really, we're not really making any line on him. We're just closing with him with the boat. I tell you, I think seriously, this uh, playing a heavy fish like this, this reel with the um, with the the drag free re recovery, is really a boon. It really is. Don't don't get too close. Swimming at us. Pretty powerful fish. As we move closer to him. The big fish seem to be holding still or swimming towards us. He doesn't think, I don't even think he knows he's hooked yet. Big run, big run. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch him go up. But once again, he turned his head away and took off like an express train. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to chase him at the boat here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's going all the way there. Ah, oh, that's what we're here for. <laughs> you! Oh, my word. Here he goes. Big one. Yeah. There he is, there he is. Look at him, look at him oh, go. Oh, yeah. Woo! Big one, big one. 70 pounds. 60 anyways. What? 60 pounds. You think so? Oh, for sure. Didn't you see him go? Uh, well, I didn't, yeah, but I couldn't judge him. So. Right, I tell. There he goes, round the boat, round the boat. The big fish continued to take line and was just too strong for me to be able to stop him. However, the heavy pressure I'd been holding on him was beginning to take its toll, and he began to come higher in the water. I began to feel a bit anxious, as there's no more dangerous moment than when they jump. Let's, let's get it, get going. Chase him, Ted, chase Can him. I, okay. Whoa, whoa! That was it. I think, was it? He, is he gone? Yeah. He was gone. You sure? Reel the shit out of him. After a few mad moments with a fish like that, no. the bottom of your stomach falls out when you feel the line go slack. Ted looked as disappointed as I felt. I looked over my shoulder and saw an old friend of mine into what looked like a really good fish. I asked him if he thought it was a big one. Yeah, he's a pretty good one. Great. I can't tell for sure, but... Well, just, over, he, looks like about 50 pounder at least, eh? Looks like, say, 50, 60. Son of a gun. You need a hand net, that guy? Mike had to start his engine and follow the fish, which was taking too much line and getting too far away from him. The other boats in the vicinity were considerate and had given Mike plenty of distance. But with a fish like this, even quarter of a mile can be too close. Yes, this was another big fish. Fish came near the surface. There he is, there he is. How much line have you got on that, Mike? 200 pound, uh, 200 yards, 17 pound test. 200 yards, 17 pound. The fish was now fighting dangerously high in the water. Look, John. There's a fellow over there with a the fish on right behind him. Holy smoke, they're all around us. Mike's boat was being towed by that salmon. My word, look at him. See him? I don't. Where is he? There he is. It continued to pull and run hard, right round Mike's boat.
This was no ordinary fish. Every time Mike gained 20 yards of line from him, he quickly took it all back again. Ted and I watched with bated breath as the exciting struggle continued. The other boat we saw now got his fish within reach of the net, but Mike's was far from finished. The salmon didn't seem to be tiring at all, but I was beginning to wonder about Mike. At last his efforts seemed to be paying off, as the fish was finally brought close to the boat. Oh, there he is, my word. That's, what's, that's what it is, I've got him by the back end. At first sight, we thought he was foul hooked, but that soon proved not to be the case. Looks like he's almost doing the chicken. Yeah, he's, he's had it. But he hadn't had it. He rolled once, got his head down, and off he went again. That hard one 60 yards of line, which had brought the fish so close to the boat, all went out again. After lots more hard work, Mike eventually got it back. Once again, he had the fish close to his boat. Got him on a short line now. He brought the fish closer and closer, that is a trying to get it within fish. reach of his net. That's a real big fish. At last, it appeared as if Mike was finally going to get his chance. It looked like he had him, but as Ted and I watched, his head went down and away he went again. Mike simply couldn't stop him. The fish took a tremendous run and went right under another fisherman's boat, who was not paying attention to Mike's situation. Back off, get him. Back off. He's completely underneath you. Heal up your line. Mike asked him to move and reel up his line. At last, he realized what was happening and put his motor in gear and gave Mike some badly needed fighting room. You better watch what I'm doing. Yes, indeed. You're getting tired, Mike. <laughs> this is a big one. Yeah. We've got a couple of men here who'd love to give you a rest with that, you know. <laughs> Almost scary. Yeah, I'm almost out of line again. <laughs> Gee whiz. Sure. <laughs> 